What up, folks? I am UltraZone. Today, I have a review of the Mondo Toho. You can see who it is. Godzilla Museum Gogeta 1954. In a really nice package. I really like these packages that uh, Mondo has designed for this line. This is the second one, and this one is courtesy of Mondo. So I do appreciate that very, very much. Thanks for sending this over. I really wanted to check this out as well. There's all the stats for Godzilla 54. You could stop and uh, read it all. Um, Godzilla Museum, more stuff there. Lots of creds and stuff, so you can check that out. Nothing much going on on the bottom. And yes, the figure's not in here. I'm sure you already seen my unboxing for this. Yeah, I mean, go check that out too. Uh, for my, you know, initial out of the package sauce. But now we're gonna get the full sauce. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. So first off, Godzilla comes with this really nice face. It says Godzilla there. It's really cool. It's like it's like a drum. They gave us a drum, which I, I like, and all that cool stuff on the bottom. Um, got the little card down in there, and you get this little placard that's uh, magnetic. Goes your 1954 on there, and then you take this and you just put it on there, like so. That is super, super cool. I really enjoy how that works. And then you take Gojira and you place them on top. And there you go, you got your display. If you, you know, get all of these and you wanna display them. I won't be displaying them like that, you know, they're gonna be mixed and matched in into my collection, probably together, but you know, the, the bases take up, you know, that much more real estate. So I won't be displaying with that, but uh, they are really cool. So besides displaying it with the base, you have an option here of displaying it with this little plane. So this is how he looks with the plane, which I like. He's holding it like an ice cream pop. And you can have him without. Um, this, you definitely gotta put it in the right way. Also, you know, for whatever reason, it won't stay exactly the way you want it to. So if you pop it in like that, it's perfect. But you know, any other way, and it feels a little bit loose. So this, you know, get it right in the hand there, and you're good to go, but no problem. So there you have that. The plane itself is pretty cool. I do like it. Very plain, you know, it's a little plain, but you know what, it was a little prop plane <laughs> in the movie too. Um, the smoke looks really good. Some nice paint on the smoke and uh, sculpt work. I like that a lot. So this is really a nice little thing. It's very cool. The other thing to mention is you gotta attach the tail. This one is uh, very easy to do. This one is, they're both magnetic. This and the Hannibal Baron, I'm gonna guess all of them are, as you can see. You just align it correctly and just jam it in. So pretty good, stays decently enough. A little bit better now, I gotta say, uh, when I unboxed this, it was like coming out a little bit too easy, I felt like, but it's, it's a lot better now. So I do like the, the magnetic idea. I think it's uh, it's pretty a pretty slick way to, to do things. And Mondo's been doing that for a little while now, and uh, I'm pretty much all their Godzilla uh, products so far, we've had magnets. So taking a look at this guy in full, it's pretty cool. It really, really is. I do like it. Proportions are pretty good. It's very skinny, as the suit was. But I think it's, uh, it's pretty right on, you know? I, I do like it a lot. Now, I've mentioned this before in the unboxing, but I do have a little scrape right there. Uh, and maybe right there, I guess. But that kind of looks like all of this stuff, which, you know, blends in well. It's a little hole there. 
Um, not like a hole, but like a hole in the paint. I got a little bit more on that side, but it's, it's not a big deal. The tail is amazing. I really like it a lot. It's got a little bit of a curve to it, which looks cool. As you can see, the sculpt work is really nice. The skin texture is fantastic. It's kind of celluloid skin texture, um, which this Godzilla has more than any other, except for Shin Godzilla, I guess. Um, but the segments look fantastic. The brushwork here is beautiful. Love it. Here's the other side. Okay, nice, good look. Then you got the dorsal fins starting here. And they are nicely painted and sculpted. I should say sculpted and painted. All three rows look good. Going right up here. Very nicely done. I like them a lot. Beautiful. And then the side here looks really nice. Again, the skin texture is amazing. Going down to the leg. You can see like on the thigh especially how it's all like it's like messed up skin and wow that looks great i mean poor godzilla but looks awesome i love the folds here that looks really good the other side knees nice the foot you know except for that little thing there looks really good i really like it i like the nails a lot i like how those are painted going over to the other side that foot looks really nice. Like how he's kind of, you know, stepping forward. That's really cool. Good pose. Same thing with the arms, you know, nice pose. This arm up a little bit more. This arm looks really good. I love the folds and wrinkles here. That looks fantastic. I like how the arm looks a lot. The hand looks good. This hand looks good too. Nice wrinkles in here. And they're very nice. Suit is translated very well. Chest looks really good too. I love his hips. This whole pelvis section looks amazing. Really, really good looking. The neck has some nice wrinklage as well. Got the little white up there. do see a seam mark here. Head sculpt is really nice. We'll zoom in more. So I got something here, but that doesn't look like it's attached. It's moving. Oh, it's, you know, <laughs> it's in like the folder wrinkles. It's not a big deal. Little ear looks good. His eye on this side looks really cool. Face looks really nice. His nose. Teeth look great. Now this eye has got some like little, you know, lines coming out into the, the white where this does not. However, it is so hard to see that with the naked eye. I am zoomed in here. Um, so I don't think it's that big of a deal, but that's an easy fix too. A little bit of white paint in there and uh, you're good to go. I think I will fix that. But again, I can't really see it other than looking at it right now. <laughs> um, I'm looking past my camera and <laughs> it's so hard to make out. The gray tongue looks good. And yes, he's got like googly eyes, but you know, it's Godzilla 504 guys. You know, that's how, that's the deal. Um, it looks good from both sides, but when he looks straight on, it dies. Um, his brows look great. Signature brows. His upper lip, signature upper lip looks awesome. His nose, bottom jaw. Yeah, look at that shot. Look at that shot. You guys know the shot I'm talking about. I mean... That's pretty good. I gotta say, that's pretty good. So, uh, I really like this guy. 
I think he turned out pretty fantastic overall. You know, I'm really like it makes me happy uh, when I'm doing that and you know seeing shots from the movie. That's a good job. When that can happen, that's a good job. And for size comparisons, here's Godzilla 54 with a bunch of figures you might have in your collection. And of course, here he is with the other current Godzilla Museum a release with the Godzilla animated series version from the 70s. And these guys look awesome together. I really like them a lot. I mean, total, total opposites here, but so great to see. Um, I'm liking the size. I'm really liking the size. And uh, this is, this guy is going to be a good line. So uh, do jump on this right away because these guys are still available to get uh, right now on mondoshop.com. And my final thoughts, I think my, you know, the last thing I said there uh, with the animated Godzilla says it all. Get these. These are really good. I really like how they feel. And I really like how they look. And I really like the size. So, pretty good. So far, I think it's two for two for me. Um, you know, like, both of them are fantastic figures. So, uh, this is good. This is a great start, man. We got the Attack Peter one coming soon. And that one I'm really looking forward to because it looks like his style has uh, really, really been translated well into figure form. So I'm really looking forward to getting that one in hand. So, uh, yeah, that, that's, that's good. But Godzilla 54, Gogeta 54 is pretty awesome. If you're a big fan of the original Godzilla, I think you should get this. Whether you display it with or without the plane uh, is up to you. But both ways, it's pretty, pretty cool. And there you go, guys. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Thanks again to Mondo for sending this one over for a review. And if you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.